Hello, welcome back for day 10. Really excited that you're still sticking with me and ready for more. Today, we're gonna to practice a lot of the postures we've already learned and incorporate them into a nice strong flow. So think of this as a moving meditation where I'm gonna be calling out the postures that you already know and we can just incorporate them into steadiness and ease as we move through this flow. This whole video series is available on Wellness Plus. So if you'd like to see it now, please visit the link below. And when you're ready, we'll get started at the top of our mat. So coming to stand, feet together, our Tadasana Mountain Pose, we'll move through two rounds of Sun A, the first with our Cobra Pose and the second with Upward Facing Dog. Standing nice and tall, roll the shoulders back. Let's take a nice deep inhale to begin. Inhale, arms lift. Exhale, flat back, forward fold. Inhale, coming onto the fingertips, halfway lift. Exhale, press into the hands, step back, plank pose. Shifting the weight forward, tuck the elbows in, lower all the way down to the mat. Inhale, lifting up, Bhujangasana, Cobra Pose, squeezing those elbows together. Exhale, release back down, tuck the back toes. Inhale through plank, exhale, push back down, dog. Hmm. I'm just feeling into our down dog here. Take a few breaths. Working on that external rotation of the biceps, maybe slightly fanning the hands out so that the forefingers reach for the top of the mat. If you'd like to sway hips left and right, you can. Or maybe pedal out the feet. It's warming up the body. On an inhale, rise up to the tippy toes, look between the hands. Exhale, bend the knees and step or float forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, all the way up to stand, arms touch overhead. Exhale, arms down by your side. Round two. Inhale, grow long, energy shooting out the fingertips. Exhale, hinging at the hips, flat back forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands, this time if you'd like to float back through your chaturanga, lower halfway down. Inhale, pushing up, upward facing dog. Exhale, push back, downward facing dog. Coming back to the breath here. Sending the chest away from the hands towards the thighs. Inhale, rise up to the tippy toes, look between the hands. Exhale, bend the knees, step or float forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, all the way up to stand. Arms touch overhead. Exhale, sit back, chair pose, Utkatasana. So shifting the weight back into the heels, squeezing the inner knees, inner thighs, inner ankles together. Sitting nice and low here, tucking the low belly in here as we sit nice and low. Exhale, release, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, moving through our sun salutation B here. Plant down through the hand step or float back through your chaturanga. Inhaling up for upward facing dog, pressing the chest in between the arms. And exhale, push back, downward facing dog. Now right foot comes to a 45 degree angle. Inhale, left leg shoots forward. Come all the way up to stand, warrior one. Exhale, arms down by your side, kick it back, move through your vinyasa. Moving at the speed of your own breath here. Now left leg rotates in, 45 degree angle, lift that right leg up between the hands, come all the way up, warrior one, other side. Exhale, coming back down, frame the foot. Kick it back, move through your vinyasa. Nice deep breaths here. 
all meeting back, downward facing dog. And if you haven't quite got the hopping forward yet, feel free to take little steps up to the top of the mat. Either variation is beautiful and perfect. Inhale, rise up to the tippy toes, look between the hands. Exhale, bend the knees and either walk or float forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, lower. Now sitting back into our little chair, shift the weight back, come onto the fingertips and inhale, arms up, chair pose. Breathing as we sit a little lower, lifting the heart up to the sky. Inhale, come up to stand. Arms come down by your side. And just take a moment here in Tadasana. Feel the body really warming up as we move through our sun salutations. Now we're gonna move through sun salutation B again with a few variations. Inhale, arms up. Big expansion through the rib cage. Exhale, sit back, chair pose. Sitting nice and low, let's bring the hands to heart center, and this time twisting over to the right, elbow hooks around the knee. Now we've been here before, sit nice and low, trying to keep the knees even, look down, notice if one knee is shifted in front of the other and try to get it back. Exhale, release, down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant those hands, step or float back through your sun B. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, push back, downward facing dog. Right foot comes in, left foot shoots out. Inhale, arms up, warrior one. Now exhale, bring the hands below you, low back, interlace the fingers. Inhale, lift the chest to the sky. And then exhale, come down, humble warrior. Bringing the chest just inside of the left leg as the head comes closer to the ground. Big, deep lunge here. Inhale, back up, warrior one. And then exhale, windmill the hands down, frame the foot, step it back, move through your vinyasa. Now again, you can always skip the vinyasa and just meet back in down dog or feel free to come into child's pose at any time. Left foot turns, 45 degree angle, step it up. Right foot, inhale, arms up, warrior one. Exhale, interlace the fingers of the low back. Inhale, lift the chest to the sky. And then exhale, coming into humble warrior, other side. Really trying to squeeze the palms together here as we let the hands drop away from our butts towards our face. Inhale, grow along, coming back up to stand. Exhale, windmill the arms down, frame the foot, step it back, move through your vinyasa. Shifting the weight forward, tucking the elbows in as you lower halfway down. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, push back downward facing dog. Just taking a few breaths here, come back to your center. Notice if your breathing has come a little bit out of control or maybe your heart is racing. Use your breath to quiet the mind and bring the heart rate down. Inhale, rise up to the tippy toes, look between the hands. Exhale, bend the knees, step or float forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, lower. Now sitting back, chair pose. Inhale, arms up, Utkatasana. Bringing the hands to heart center. Let's twist over to the left this time. Hooking the elbow around the knee and then pressing into the elbow to lift the chest away from the thighs as we twist a little deeper here. Maybe the gaze comes over the left shoulder. And then slowly release. Inhale, come all the way up to stand. Arms come down by your side. Now working on some balancing postures. Let's shift the weight into the left foot. Start to lift the right up for tree pose. Now the right foot can come to the inside of the thigh or stay at the ankle or the calf, anywhere except right on the kneecap. So standing up nice and tall, lifting up through the low belly. If you'd like to test your balance, start to grow your tree trunk. 
And then maybe your branches extend up towards the sky. If the gaze is lifted, bring it back to center. Let's swoop the right arm underneath the left for eagle arms. Start to bend the left leg and swoop the right leg around the left for eagle, Garudasana. Sitting nice and low here, lifting our elbows up towards the sky, forearms pressed away from the face. Squeezing our thigh muscles, squeezing the elbows together. Working on all the major joints of the body here. Now keeping the arms where they are, let's unwrap the legs, send it back, high crescent lunge with eagle arms. Lifting the chest up to the sky. Exhale, release the arms. Let's open it up. Warrior two. Coming into our nice deep warrior two here. One long line of energy from fingertips all the way through the chest to out the back fingertips. On an inhale, left palm flips. Send it behind you, reverse warrior. Big side stretch. Exhale, windmill the arms inside that front leg. Extended side angle pose. One long line of energy coming down the whole body, out the back leg. Inhale, back up warrior two. Straighten that front leg, send the hips back for triangle pose like we practiced yesterday. Shifting that weight forward and then tilting over triangle pose. Rotating our heart up to the sky. Always breathing. Inhale, back up, warrior two. And then let's windmill the arms down, frame the foot, move through your vinyasa. Stepping back through plank, and then coming through chaturanga, bending halfway down. Inhale, thighs stay lifted off the mat for up dog. Exhale, push it back, downward facing dog. Coming back to your breath here. Just let go of everything we just did. We have another side, so you'll be able to practice this flow again. But see if you can find some stillness, not thinking about the past or future, but coming right into the present moment here. As you feel the breath moving through your body, and as you feel this beautiful stretch, downward facing dog, Inhale, rise up to your tippy toes, look between the hands. Exhale, bend the knees, step or float forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, all the way up to stand, reverse swan dive, arms touch. Exhale, arms down by your side. Now shifting the weight into the right side this time, we'll come into tree, lifting the left foot up to whatever height you did on the other side. So again, root to rise. We're grounding down through that standing leg, lifting up through our hips and mid-body. Energy shooting out the crown of the head to stay lifted as we focus on our drishti, a focal point, and let the rest of the world fall away. Inhale, start to lift the arms up to the sky. As we raise those arms, watch out for the shoulders coming up by the ears and drop them down. Maybe the gaze lifts. Maybe you practice closing your eyes. And then coming back to center. This time left elbow wraps underneath the right. Really squeezing those elbows together, palms together. And then lifting that left leg up and around. Start to bend into that standing leg. The deeper you bend, the easier it should be to wrap the foot around. Eagle pose. Really contracting, squeezing everything together here. We're restricting the blood flow so that when we release, fresh oxygen and fresh blood can flood our legs and arms. Now keeping the arms where they are, let's unwrap the legs. Send the leg back behind you, high crescent lunge. Opening the heart up to the sky here. And then exhale, release the arms, twist that back heel down, come into warrior two. So look down real quick at your alignment. My foot is a little far out to the left, so I want to bring it back so I have that heel to arch alignment that we've been talking about. Then we step back into our high crescent lunge. We can't really see behind us, so now we can take a minute to look and make sure we're standing properly. Nice deep breaths here as you sit a little bit lower. 
Inhale, flip that front palm, send it behind you, reverse warrior. Mm, big side body stretch. Trying to keep the lunge in that front leg. Exhale, windmill the arms inside that front leg, extended side angle. And if your hand can't come to the floor, you can bend the elbow at the knee. Just big extension here is what we're looking for as we rotate the chest up towards the sky. Inhale, back up warrior two. Straighten the right leg, send the hips behind you, hinging at the waist, coming into triangle trikonasana. Staying lifted here, really engaging our core and back muscles. That might be a little sore from yesterday. And then coming back all the way up, bend in that front leg, warrior two, and then reverse, swan dive down. Kick the leg back, plank pose, and then move through your vinyasa. Exhale on the way down. Inhale up. And then exhale, push it back, downward facing dog. Now let's spread the knees wide. Press the hips towards the heels, coming in to child's pose. Hmm. Taking nice deep breaths in and out through the nose. Coming back to your center. And you can keep your child's pose active if you like by tenting the fingers, walking them out so the arms lift off the mat. Feeling a nice shoulder stretch here. Stay here as long as you like. As you're ready, let's press back into the hands, send the hips high, downward facing dog. Great job, yogis. That was such a fun flow. Your whole body should be working, sweating, feeling good. Let's inhale, the right leg lifts nice and high. Exhale, send it through for pigeon, bending the knee, bringing it just outside the right wrist. And then settling into our hips here. Let's bring the hands back towards our hips. Inhale, lift the chest. And then exhale, start to walk the upper body forward. Maybe coming onto the forearms, maybe resting the forehead down. We did a lot of standing postures and chair pose. So this should be a really nice counter stretch for the outer hips and glute muscles. And just allow your body to sink into the floor, get heavy, and breathe into any areas of tightness. As you're ready, start to walk the hands back towards the face and then pushing into the palms, lift up. Let's tuck the back toes under, lift the hips high, and then kick the right leg back. Maybe rounding, making big circles with the knee or shaking out the leg, whatever you need to do. Kind of come back to your equilibrium and then returning to a down dog. Let's inhale, lift the heels, and then exhale, drop the heels down. Inhale, left leg lifts, and then send it all the way through for pigeon on the other side. So again, we wanna get the left knee just outside the left wrist, and then the heel can be either tucked in towards the groin if that allows you to square off the hips and feel good in this posture, or you can work the heel up towards the top of the mat. You'll feel more of a stretch if you need it. Bringing the hands back towards the hips, inhale, lift. And then exhale, start to walk the hands down as far as you can or would like to. You could always bend the arms and place the forehead on the forearms. Just really want to relax the upper body so that gravity can help us feel this stretch. Hmm. We store a lot of emotions in our hips. So as you stretch in pigeon pose, notice if thoughts or emotions start to bubble up to the surface and just notice them without judgment. Maybe they've been stored up and locked away for a little while and here they are ready to be set free. Nice deep breaths 
as you sink a little bit lower. And again, maybe you tent the fingers, keep it active if you like. Last breath here, sending your breath to any areas of tightness or discomfort. And then bringing the hands back, let's lift up, tuck the back toes, lift the hips high, and then send that left leg back, maybe shaking it out, rolling the hip, do whatever you need to do. Meeting back, downward facing dog. And then let's slowly walk the feet up towards the hands. We'll take a little squat, bending the knees, releasing the low back here. So now we're gonna go into an inversion of your choice just to round out this practice. I'm gonna do shoulder stand, but we've already worked on waterfall, which is just legs up, or you can come against the wall and do legs up the wall. Whatever feels good to you today. So feel free to just roll back into it. I'm gonna come onto this side. And then lying on our backs. And now extending your legs up, either stay here or press up, shoulder stand, bending the elbows to bring the hands to the low back. Now we wanna keep our legs nice and straight, but also kind of relax them as we're aiming to get the blood to drain out of the feet and legs and renew the heart center. So you wanna see your big toes over your face. Notice if they're falling too far forward or if you're leaning too far back. Try to get them nice in line on top of your hips. It's really important here to stay looking up. Don't look left to right. And notice too if the weight is in your shoulders or if it's coming too far onto your neck. We don't, we wanna come up nice and high, but we don't wanna be putting the pressure on our neck like this. So just staying on our shoulders, allowing this inversion to work its magic, helping to regulate our hormones, work on our thyroid gland. And then when you're ready, let's release the hands from the low back, slowly lower the hips down, engage your core muscles here to lower down nice and soft. And then hugging the knees in. Maybe lifting the forehead up to touch the knees. And then dropping down. Let's bring the knees out wide, happy baby pose. So grabbing for the feet and then kicking the feet apart from one another and maybe rocking left and right here. Opening up the hips. And then coming to relax. Nice deep breaths. So we covered a lot of our essential poses today. Our sun A's, our sun B's, our warriors, our triangle pose, shoulder stand, and now happy baby. So please, I encourage you to continue practicing this flow, really strengthen your yoga practice. And then when you're done, let's release the feet. Come back, one more big hug and then lay it down, Shavasana. Kicking the feet out towards the mat, relaxing the hands, relaxing the entire body. And coming back to the breath. This time, let go of breathing in and out through the nose or if you were working on any other breathing and just completely relax. So the breath can come out the mouth. everything to relax and integrate. So just let everything go. And stay here as long as you like. When you're ready, bring the knees back in towards the chest. And we'll take a little rock and roll, massaging the spine. And then coming up to a seated position. Excellent job today. This was a pretty rigorous flow, so I'm so proud of you for making it through, and I hope you're proud of yourself. Give yourself a moment to acknowledge yourself right now. This completes day 10 of my 30-day challenge. To see the entire 
video series. It's available now on Wellness Plus. And if you like this video, please subscribe to the Psyche Truth YouTube channel. I'd love to hear your comments or feedback below. And please visit my website, comingohm.com, where you can learn more about me and my practice. Really excited for tomorrow where we're going to dive right back in, really opening up our hips, working on some strength and flexibility as we work on our splits and other hip opening postures. So make sure to drink extra water, rejuvenate, rehydrate, and I'll see you tomorrow. Namaste. With hundreds of videos that you can stream on virtually any device, to help you reduce stress, lose weight, or just improve your health and well being overall. At wellnessplus.tv, we are dedicated to helping you on your health and wellness journey. Join wellnessplus.tv to find hundreds of videos to help you improve the health of your body and your mind. Wellnessplus.tv Get well, feel better.